Driving school bus is not the easy job that a lot of people think it is. We are responsible for, you know, 65, 70 children on at twice a day. That's huge. You also have to keep in mind, you are driving a big piece of machinery and you've got to pay attention. It's very important. It's a, like uh, uh, Jody Carrington said, that uh, you're the first person they meet after they leave their parents' hands. I mean, uh, do you greet them? If you greet them well, they react well. If you're a grumpy old bus driver, well, guess what you're getting back? <laughs> For me as a bus driver, I, I feel like the importance that I carry is not only getting them safely to school, but having them start their educational day on a high note, right? So, you know, letting them know that they are valuable and cared about. Would it's hard to wake up without that caffeine in your cup. It's almost like you're a second, I wouldn't say parent, but they come in and, can you tie my shoes? My glasses are dirty. So you're always doing that sort of thing. And uh, if you get along good with kids, that is just a joy. I've got a stack of gifts in my car right now from all the little guys. Some are homemade, some are bought, but it's all just special. And you know that you're appreciated and that really makes you feel good too. To start the day. My biggest concern was if one of the drivers caught COVID how would we be able to keep running? I was definitely worried about it, um, just because it was COVID. And I myself did not want to get it. You don't want to see anybody get sick. That's kind of was my mindset right from the beginning. Um, I don't care how much cleaning we have to do, nobody's getting COVID on my watch. <laughs> and that's kind of how I was thinking about it. Oh, start the day. <laughs> I didn't work here in 2019 because I was doing chemo treatments. So I came off of like, I was probably on my lowest point like in my immune system, um, but I was just raring to come back to work and Wes and Cindy let me, so. quite concerned with her, but her decision was, no, I want to get back to normalcy, which we totally understand um, after going through what she did. And she just took it, she was a trooper and she just carried on. Yeah, I mean, the kids on my bus are, they give me a boost, right? It, it gets me out the house early in the morning and they cheer me up and yeah, I love it, yeah. They got me back to life. <laughs>